am Charlotte Johnson, Secretary of the Fitness Association. We decided it would be a good idea to give everyone a video tour. I know we're off and a lot of you aren't able to make it to the open house and are curious what our new facility looks like. So here it is. First, I'm going to show you our entryway. It's a bit different than it was in previous times as the women's change room was on one side of the facility, the men's on the other. Now both are on the same side and everyone's coming in through the same door. So everyone will enter this hallway, the women will go in through one side, and the men will go in through the other. You will enter through your respective change room to get to the facility. So let's start with the men's change room. This is our new men's fitness change room. Lots of lockers, we're still kind of working that out with facilities, but much cleaner, nice floor, mirrors, and um, we're going to have daily use locks, and then there's going to also be locks that people can uh, get assigned if that's what they're interested in. Stay tuned for communication on that. So let me take you through as the biggest difference with the men's change room and the women's is the men's change room and washroom showers are all connected. The women's is separate as you're going to see. So the men's change room is this large space and then you will come through here to use the change room or to use the washroom and shower. We're very happy to have a nice, clean, um, refurbished washroom, and mostly we're very excited to have nice, fresh showers. I know that was something that the members wanted, uh, and it's very nice to be able to come and have a shower before or after your shift and actually feel clean. So Robinson's is doing a very good job of taking care of them, and facilities did a really good job of uh, putting them in. So that's our washroom, and in the men's, there are three showers. They all look like this, soap dispenser, stall, and clean, so please let's keep it that way. Now, I will take you through to the twins. You can go back to the lobby, or you can go into the new fitness, we're going to call it the fitness lounge, so everyone knows what we're speaking about, which will bring you into the facility. So you can walk in through here. You see there is some lounge chairs, our communication board. This is our Dropbox, where if you have an application to put in, a termination form to put in, or a uh, questionnaire to put in, this is where you will communicate with us. Our email is up on the board as well as our personal email, since you have Albert Mizzi, the president, me the secretary, and currently Mark G is sitting as our financial uh, secretary. So now we are in the women's change room. As I said in uh, the last clip, men's change room and washroom are together. Women's change room and washroom are separated through the lounge. So as a woman entering the fitness center, you'll come into the fitness center hallway and be directed into your change room. It's quite large as you can see, and there's lots of mirrors. All the lockers haven't been updated, but they have uh, in terms of being new lockers, but they are, uh, they have been refreshed. So that's nice and uh, it, it'll be nice use for the members here. These ones here will be designated for daily use only. The rest of them are up for uh, rental. So as we continue through, I'll take you into the washroom to explain what we need. So you have seen the women's change room, you'll come back out into the lounge, and now you can enter into the washroom and showers, which is over here through the lounge. The women's washroom has also been updated. It's also been updated, nice clean, fresh stalls, and we're very excited. I don't know if anyone was a member of the fitness association in previous, but the showers were a no-go, and now we're happy to 
see that there's two beautiful new shower stalls that people can use. For anyone who was a fitness association member previously or a paint member, you might be aware that the women's was all towards the south and the men's towards the north. That has since been changed with the renovation and all fitness members are to be entering through the north. Their change rooms are there, their showers are there, and the entrance to the gym is there. All paint production workers have their own, men and women now, have their own on the south side entrance and there is no longer card access through the south side. This is for a couple reasons and the main one being that as you're going to see, we have renovated the facility and we know that people tend to like to cut through the gym on the way to the change room with their work boots on. New floors, we want them to be kept fresh and nice uh, so that everyone can enjoy the facility for a long time to come. So we've made the decision to have it that there's only one entrance to the gym and the entrance on the south has turned into an uh, emergency exit only. So this is our new facility, welcome. We have new floors, we have new lighting, we have fresh paint. It's a renovation that we are very, very proud of and very happy to have collaborated with the company on. Going forward, there's going to be new equipment coming. I know everyone saw the outdoor gym. There is three new ellipticals that should be here later this month. We're also getting a bench press and some new cable attachments to start. We really, really encourage the membership to please take care of this facility so that it can last the next 30 years. Clean up when you're done. All the things you would do at any other fitness center. And we also encourage you to put in your recommendations. If there's something that isn't working that you need or there's something that you don't have that you might want, please contact us or put in a um, comment in the Dropbox. So this is our communication area. As you can see, our Dropbox, our promotion, this is where you'll get your application forms, your questionnaires, and your termination forms. You can find the rules, and you can find the constitution. You'll also be able to find anything that is up for buy and sell, or any type of communication that the board wants to make with the membership on uh, this bulletin board. If any of the members want to advertise anything of their own, they are welcome to use the bulletin board as well. I, for anyone who doesn't know, when it comes to our board, Albert Mizzy is your president, I, Charlotte Johnson, am your secretary, and Mark G is currently your treasurer. The three of us have been working on this project, I don't know, at least almost a year now it feels. Uh, we have heard that the membership wanted it to open, but we decided as a group that it was better to wait and make sure that we got this nice renovation rather than open early in anticipation of never getting uh, any change in there. For anyone who hasn't signed up yet, we currently still have a promotion going. The promotion is basically to share legacy pricing. Currently, you can sign up right now and there will be no payments made until January 1st. And then it's going to be $10 a month, billed every three months. So $30 in January, April, July, and October. Um, anyone who signs up after that, it's not that we are necessarily increasing our prices right now. It's all going to be based on uh, how much membership we get. It's just to say that if you sign up in 2023 before the promotion is over, your prices are never going to go up if you don't cancel. That's kind of the intent of the promotion, and for anyone who signed up from October to now, we're hopeful that you had a chance to enjoy the, enjoy the facility without any fees. The staff that's currently at the plant have got a hold of us and made quite a few comments about how people are really enjoying being able to come to the facility. One of the comments made was that Although a member that's laid off isn't working, by being able to come to the gym, they still feel as if they are at work, and that is a good feeling for them. So anyone who's kind of on the fence about joining, I, I really hope that both laid off members and people that are in the facility at this time 
feel as if they can join the gym and have somewhere to go during this time. There aren't going to be many other gyms like this that are this quiet and clean and uh, user friendly. So going forward, we hope to gain more members, keep the members that we have, and that everyone feels comfortable to bring up any concerns that they might have regarding the association, the facility, equipment, change rooms, anything. Please get a hold of us, and thanks for watching. are here. They're also online on the Unicor site and they're on the General Motors Candy website.